Hey everyone, welcome back to The Road to Superman. This is the web series where we follow all the latest updates and rumours regarding the Superman reboot. This is episode 34 and today we have once again more new set photos and videos and I will warn you that these are slightly spoilery. Previous set photos were just standing images of Superman and other characters but today are of scenes they are actually filming and we do have some videos of what they are filming too. So there is your warning. And here is the first update we have. Will Reeve, son of the legendary Christopher Reeve, will be making a cameo as a reporter in Superman. His actual job in real life is as a news correspondent for ABC News and Good Morning America, so his cameo is very appropriate. And I absolutely love that he is appearing in Superman. I know his father will be very happy and proud that he is doing this, and I'm very glad that Gunn has decided to do this. It's important to pay respect to the past, whilst also moving forward into the future. And I don't think Superman would be as legendary today if it wasn't for Christopher Reeve playing that role. The cameo being a reporter also means it won't be forced. We know that Gunn has expressed his disappointment in cameos for the sake of cameos, and this cameo is actually a respectful one that works within the movie. There will be reporters in the film, as there is with almost every superhero movie, and with Will Reeve actually being a news correspondent, this works perfectly. So I'm really excited to see this happen, and I'm actually really glad this has been revealed beforehand, because I wouldn't have known who he was if I just saw this in the film for the first time. I would have thought he looked quite similar to Superman in a way, but I wouldn't have known why, so knowing who he actually is makes this cameo even more special when we see it in the movie. And now let's move on to another iconic, amazing scene that is happening in this film. Now I know some people in the last episode were not very happy that I described these poses as iconic, even though I thought they were. I think these are very recognisable poses for Superman to be in that looks ripped right from a comic book, so I don't get people's issue with me describing them that way. But anyway, here we can see the stunt doubles for Superman and Lois slowly spinning in the air whilst looking right at each other. It's a magical moment and I'm really glad we are getting that in this film. We can see that the stunt doubles appear to be inside a shopping mall or something like that. It's a very grand building called the arcade in Cleveland, and once again, it's a building that matches the aesthetic for the movie. And obviously we don't know why Superman and Lois will be there, and to be honest, I don't want to know why until the movie releases. I'm happy we are getting these set photos and videos, as it gives us more of a clue as to what is happening, and we get to see the sets and costumes, but I want this film to still have surprises, and so I don't want to know things like why they are here. I'm very happy with just seeing this stunt version and nothing more, and I will talk talk about my overall feeling towards all these set photos and videos towards the end of the episode. But now on to some actual photos of Superman. Here we can see him running to the aid of a little girl, and we can instantly tell that this suit is darker than what we are used to. No, it's not the shade on it, and no, it's not missing the trunks or belt, because in the next photo, we can see that they are there. And we can also see that the suit behind the cape is actually the lighter blue we have seen recently, but the front of the suit is a different shade, implying it is battle damaged. So the first image we got of Superman is of this suit, and not the shiny clean one we see on set. So maybe my theory of Ultraman wearing the darker suit is wrong. Maybe Ultraman is in the movie, but just doesn't wear a darker Superman suit. Maybe he stays in the black suit he is wearing, and something in this film causes Superman's suit to get damaged, or soaked, or something like that. Now, so what is Superman saving this little girl from? Well, from this video, we can see a weight being dropped from quite high up onto a lorry. And from this other photo of the blue stunt body in the same pose as Superman, we can see that the girl is standing by the lorry and Superman protects her from the falling debris. And in post, the blue man will be replaced with Superman and the girl. Which then leads us onto this photo of Superman in action leaping onto a mat. We can see on the right there are multiple cameras filming him to get different angles, and from this video, we can see a woman being pulled by wires towards the mat. So if we combine the two shots, we can deduce that Superman is the one that moves her out the way. Of what, we currently don't know, and once again, I don't want to know, but that is cool to see the behind the scenes tricks with this as well. What does puzzle me, however, is the fact that the cape won't look very realistic the way it is flowing right now. You see, Superman is most likely flying 
dying in this scene, but to get the shot of him flying across camera to save the woman, David needs to leap into frame. But the cape isn't flowing behind him, as he obviously hasn't got enough momentum for it, so it is kind of behind him and on the side of him. If he is actually just running in this scene, then the cape placement makes sense, but I doubt Superman will save the woman in normal speed if it's an emergency like it seems to be. He will most likely use his powers to save her. Now what I assumed they would do for a scene like this is to remove the cape and add it in in post, to have it flowing the correct way. A bit like what we had seen with Cavill behind the scenes. So seeing David's cape still on for a shot like this is a surprise to me, but they know far more than I do, so I'm sure they're making the right decision for what they are trying to do. But now I want to go back to talking about my overall feelings on these public set photos and videos. Whilst at first I absolutely loved them as we were able to finally see set photos of the suit, which made it look a whole load better, I feel as time has gone on and more photos have come out, the less I actually want to see. I like seeing little sneak peeks of the costumes and maybe an explosion or a stunt here and there, but I also like not wanting to know what's going on in the movie until we see the trailers, and I feel the last couple of days have been showing almost too much. James Gunn has said he won't reveal any big spoilers in public sets, so nothing major will be ruined here, but the smaller spoilers can almost build up into a big spoiler. So hopefully they stop filming outside soon because I want more to be a secret. I love making these episodes and analyzing the photos and videos and theorizing about what they could be, but theorizing is when it's based on very little and most likely incorrect. But if any more spoiler images and videos come out, then it goes from theorizing to just common sense. Now I will still report on the new set photos when they release as I will stick with Gunn saying they won't spoil anything, but hopefully it just slows down a little. We have less than a month of production left and I think they should be returning to indoor shooting soon, unless their plan was to film as much as they could inside and then whatever they had to film outside would be left until last, which would be now. And just as an FYI as well, I won't entertain any plot leaks. I'm not going to talk about them or look at spoilers released by scoopers. I think most of the time they are wrong, but if on the off chance they are right, then they will just ruin the movie as everything will become predictable as we will know what has happened. So if a plot point from the movie is revealed by a scooper, I won't talk about it on the channel, and I hopefully won't see it on social media either. And finally, just before we end today's video, I forgot to add this small video of Clark Kent battling his way through pedestrians on the way to the Daily Planet, and this perfectly captures how he is able to blend in with everyone else. This video actually came out the same time as the photos of Clark Kent were revealed, but I was hesitant to include it at the time, as this was the most spoilery video we had seen. But since then, more spoilery videos have come out, so I thought I should include this in today's episode. But that is all for today's episode of The Road to Superman. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an episode. I hope to see you here again soon, so until then, have a great day. Bye!